Manzors, thank you so much for this interview with us. How old were you when you were detained in Afghanistan? Uh, thank you so much for having me today. I was only 18 years old when I was kidnapped by the warlord and sold to the CIA at age of 18, I stayed 19 in the CIA black site uh, in Afghanistan, which announced Khorasid or what they call war on terror. They invaded Afghanistan at that time. So they were throwing they were throwing uh, flyers offering a large bounty of money for Afghanis, anyone who can uh, hand over foreigners with Arab, or Arabs. You know, for for, for uh, Afghani people, there was a changing life. So they were kidnapping people from any foreigners. They kidnapped them. Even Afghan were sold to the CIA as Taliban leaders and so on, and they weren't. So. You were sold to the CIA supposedly as um, an Al Qaeda leader. Yes, as as I was sort of say as Al Qaeda leader, 9/11 insider, Egyptian middleman who involved in in recruiting, uh, money laundering, traveling, and bombing, and a lot of things. You were only, and I would like to to remind this: you were only 18 at that time. What was going through your head? How did you get to Guantanamo, which is on the other side of the world, literally? You know, we spent some time on the black side, tortured in the worst way. Then I was shipped to Kandahar detention, then to Guantanamo at, the, at that young age. I had no idea what they were looking for. And also at the same time, they were looking for some, so some something I, I, didn't have, I, I didn't have. They were looking also for anyone to fit the, pro, the profile, which I would like to introduce because before construct those realities, they need the language to change, to make laws or legislation for these realities. War on Muslims, they call it war on terror. You know, prisoners of war, they call them uh, detainees. Uh, hundreds of thousands of Muslims and, and families wiped out. They call them collateral damage. You know, uh, CIA black site and kidnapping, they call, they, they call it uh, rendition. So just playing with the words, then after that, they legalize, legalize it, they, um, put, or they put it in the system and to be legit for the United States to, you know, to police uh, a world. Guantanamo was it chosen intentionally outside the law. They call it the island outside of the law. Why? Because no law or rules or uh, apply in Guantanamo. Not the American laws, not the Cuban laws, not the international, international law, not Geneva Convention. So they call it detention. Guantanamo is a black site, the black hole within a military base. 86% of detainees were either sold for bounty money or mistaken identity. Only 8%, 8% suspected to have ties to Al Qaeda and Taliban. What's the worst you've gone through? being in Guantanamo, being only 18 years old, and spending 14 years there. When you ask me about the worst, everything is worst. But within that darkness, I mean, imagine your life. What makes a person as a person? What makes you as a person? Your name, your faith, your value, your religion, your language, your emotion, your memories, your relation, your uh, country, your family, your memories, your knowledge, that would make you a person as a person. When you end up in a place, that and the system, that designed to strip you all, all of that, you become just a shell, you become no one. So, but within that darkness, the worst thing was to be there, you know, to see people suffer around you, to see people suffer around the world, for what?